So we've got Joy Behar here, Eric, who, for lack of a better term, is calling these people Uncle Toms, who she doesn't agree with. That being Clarence Thomas and Tim Scott, who is now running for president. Tim Scott, I didn't know, is just amazing at fundraising, apparently. He made $2 million his first day after he announced that he was going to be president. But Tim Scott's running for president, and Joy Behar basically says he doesn't know what it's like to be black, and um, Clarence Thomas doesn't know what it's like to be black. But here is Joy Behar, uh, hosted by Michael Knowles here. Joy Behar is just insane things here, I think. Or I'm sorry, forget about the Indian Nazis and the Hispanic white supremacists. You've also got to pay attention to the black faces of white supremacy. That, of course, would be not just Larry Elder in California, but Clarence Thomas and Tim Scott. The View, the white ladies of The View, very, very upset (laughs) at that white supremacist Tim Scott running for president. He's one of these guys who, you know, he's like Clarence Thomas, black Republican who believes in pulling yourself by your bootstraps, rather than, to me, understanding the systemic racism that African Americans face in this country and other minorities. He doesn't get it, neither does uh, Clarence. Right. And that's why they're Republicans. Yeah. (laughs) I I know. He doesn't get it. Now let me, Joy Beha, I'm going to tell you all, it's almost like a Fauci voice. Well, they're both from New York. That's what I mean by basically you. So they have Joy Behar saying two black guys who are how Tim Three. Scott's at least 40 and Clarence Thomas is 60 something. So these guys have been around since at least the 70s and further. They don't know the black experience. They just don't get they don't understand that there's systemic racist against racism against them. That's like saying like. The Oakland Athletics don't a guy from the Oakland Athletics doesn't get what the playing for the Oakland Athletics is like. He's played there for 15 years. He came up through their system. Um, he's played in the majors. He was through went through Moneyball, and now they have one of the worst the worst record I believe since 1932, and are on pace for the worst record since 1899. But they don't get it, Eric. These black guys they don't get what being black is like. I'm Joy Behar. I'm on this TV show. I speak to nothing but obese housewives all day probably one more likely that they're alone and not wives of anyone because that's who's going to believe them and i wonder does joy behar sit there and think about the fact that she's really really just making absolutely no sense or does she truly believe this the ever never-ending question eric that we have do they truly believe this so what's your take on joy behar basically saying like two very let's say very successful tim scott's been in office for a while now and clarence thomas is supreme court uh for a long time now how does one come to this understanding or end point here where they think that they know better than a person of that race it's the whole like you're too stupid to know basically is it not yeah and i don't think I don't think they actually believe this. A woman who, Joy Behar is at least in her 50s, possibly 60s. She doesn't believe any of this. She doesn't go home and feel like she did a good thing. She knows exactly what she's supposed to do. She's playing the role. They're all completely evil. And that was something, like you said, that you know we talk about all, all the time. And I would constantly be, oh, do, do, they, do they realize that they're evil or are they just stupid? And Joy Behar, unfortunately, falls on the evil level because she is quite successful. So I wouldn't call her stupid at all. She knows exactly what card she has to play. But a better question is, if Tim Scott and Clarence Thomas and uh, who was the other one? I already forgot. Um, That would be uh, Larry Elder. Larry Elder, of course. How could I forget Larry Elder? If they don't understand, where did she get the the knowledge from? From Whoopi Goldberg, who changed her name to, to fit in in Hollywood and be hugely successful where does she get her knowledge from the cnn talking heads and if it were true and she did believe it what i mean should we hear a story of joy behar you know giving away her money to some downtrodden black people possibly in new york city or or donating huge sums of money to the now defunct blm do do we hear any of that or she just or, or are they all just playing this completely outrageous game under the notion 
that their audience is incredibly, incredibly stupid. I'm not quite sure. And this does this does kind of bring me back to the classic uh, Kelly Osborne, right? We all mm-hmm, remember when mm-hmm. she was on The View and she said, well, Donald Trump, <laughs> if you kick out all the Mexicans, who's going to clean your toilet? Like, didn't realize how how inappropriate that was. And then kind of backtracked and like, oh, no, not like that, because they they don't realize that they've gone completely full circle. And how many times have we seen this, right? Dave Chappelle, obviously the black, white supremacist. It used to be a joke. Now they're saying it is a real thing. Uh, these guys wearing little bikini tops on a living color, Jim Carrey, uh, white chicks, all of this stuff was a very laughable joke. Juwan man, notoriously, which uh, they claim is coming back, neither here nor there. All of these things that were quite literally jokes not that long ago in the grand scheme are now to be taken seriously, and it's all insane. Turn it up, Jordan.